Oh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's Thursday. Let's go over all the news I can find for Fish Quest Worlds this week. This way all right, ninth upholder is finally here, which is the ninth year Adventure Quest has been out, and this year, uh, probably the most star swords we've ever gotten a single year. More on that. Uh, so you can see here, these are the designs we're getting. Uh, the vampire, paladin. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be an obsidian paladin one. I would really like to see that, but we'll see. And this one is a werewolf, I think. Yeah, lichen, werewolf. Same thing, basically. And then, of course, that one's a dragonborn naval uh, star sword right there. So those are star swords that were confirmed so far. And you can see the purple dragonborn one right there. Along with Elena confirming that they're making a star sword for each one of the Dragonborn naval variants. That is an insane amount of star swords. Which includes the crystal Dragonborn star sword, which will be color changing. like the armor and weapon and everything that we already have for the crystal Dragonborn set. So we're going to get a star sword for that if you're our ninth upholder. Uh, about the upholder status, it has you have to have membership until November 1st. Now, in my situation, currently, and you can check uh, when your membership expires by going here in your Book of Lorian game, mine expi expires on October 31st, which is the last day of October, which is one day off of being an upholder, so it has to be November 1st or onward, like say your membership expires a year from now or next summer or something, you're going to be able to get this uh, if you log in. Although I think Elena said you don't need to log in if your membership lasts longer than October, so... Uh, but I'd log in anyway just to be safe, uh, get the badge, get the star sword, and all that stuff. So uh, make sure you got a membership that lasts longer than the month of October. Kind of sucks that they didn't count it as October 31st, instead did November 1st. But I understand why they're doing that. Uh, moving on. If you're a founder, uh, which founder badge was released nine years ago for the people that originally supported the game monetarily in the beginning... Uh, nine years later, you're going to get a reward, which is this little dragon here. It's not the star sword that is for everyone that has the upholder badge. It's just a little dragon. That's all that you're missing out on if you don't have the founder's badge. So uh, clarify that. And uh, that's really cool that they're giving rewards for a badge that came out nine years ago. It's kind of insane. All right. I know you guys love talking about the server rewrite memes aside. I'm actually pretty excited for it still. It's going to bring new changes to the game, things they couldn't do before, bank item previews, and a bunch of new uh, actual features to the video game. But along with that, we're getting a new client with the server rewrite at the same time. So Elena was answering a lot of questions about it. If you want to read through this thread, uh, it, just check out my, uh, my Twitter. It'll be on there. And uh, Elena was replying to a lot of questions. And one of them was, uh, will the new client launch at the same time the server rewrite launches? So, correct. The new server was finished about a year and a half ago. Uh, it's been getting the new client to line up with it that's taking longer. So if you're not aware of what the new client is, that's like uh, the mobile app. So you can have an app in the App Store, Android, iOS, and play on your phone. And it also has hardware acceleration so the game won't be running on flash anymore and flash is what makes the game lag right now uh computers are way farther advanced than uh, at the time flash was released flash can only use a single core in your computer it can't use your gpu at all uh and with the new client would come a new engine uh, for the game which would allow you to not lag if your hardware is up to the task which is very good for a lot of players that means We'll be getting smooth frame rates in a 2D game, which is great because it's only, it's very, it's a very simple game to run, but because it runs on flash, that's why it's, la it's lagging a lot. So this will remove a lot of the lag from the game. It's a very good thing. And everyone that plays at AQ should be excited about that. Um, I think a few people are a little salty or whatever about uh, the fact that the server has been finished for a year and a half and because of the client's not coming out. But you got to understand that in order to implement the server rewrite, they would have to shut down the servers for maybe uh, maybe a few days. Uh, so, And that's a lot of lost revenue for them, and that's a lot of downtime for the people not being able to play the game. Uh, so instead of doing that uh, twice, which they would have to do if they wanted to do that for the server rewrite and the new client, 
because they would have to do that for the new client and both the server, right? Separate times if they were going to launch it separate dates. Uh, waiting and doing them on the same day is a lot better. That's probably not their reason. That's just what I'm thinking of. I'm just guessing also. So that's just pure speculation. But I'm going to guess that's one of the reasons why they're waiting, along with the fact that they're probably features that are dependent on both of them releasing, releasing at the same time and it'd probably be impossible to release them at separate dates. That's probably another reason why. Uh, the survey right is going to launch at the same time as the new client so yeah i talked about that for way too long let's move on to some more news all right this friday the release is the celestial arena now uh, this is aranx's birthday a ranks or a ranks i think that's how people say i don't know okay i get told how to pronounce it every every day i say it but uh yeah okay well it's his birthday and for the event uh we're getting a 30 level arena uh, with defeat the boss and unlock the final rewards. Uh, Celestial Infernal monsters earn victory tokens, so there's going to be a merch shop. Uh, the Celestial Challenger shop unlocks after 15 battles, uh, that's halfway through. And then a Celestial Champion shop unlocks after beating the final boss. Now, we have a good idea of what could be in this shop, uh, and uh, more on that in a second. And it, based on what they've been saying, they want it to be a challenge. Uh, but only the strongest will be able to survive the 30 levels. Uh, now, it's an Adventure Quest Worlds challenge, which means it's either going to be grinding for 10 hours straight, or it's going to be, uh, you're going to need a party of Void High Lords to take down the boss. We'll see what happens with this. Uh, I doubt, okay, if you're a lower level, you're probably not going to be able to do it, but I doubt anyone that capped out at 85 a light caster isn't going to be able uh, to defeat the boss which light caster is also coming out tomorrow uh, for 1k see i'll have a video on that tomorrow of course and uh yeah that is about it for this we have some items that we'll be releasing with the event including the burning blade v2 which has an animation on it very nice and it's confirmed to have plus 30 percent damage boost on it so that is one of the highest damage boost items in the game and it's presumably farmable uh it will be hard to obtain though so that's probably the item that's going to take you 10 hours straight of farming to get if i had to guess uh in the event but uh yeah that's definitely gonna be worth it for a 30 percent damage boost which currently most players are only using a 15% or 25% damage boost, so a 30% is a good increase to that. Earlier in the week, Elena asked how many heroes it would take to take down a level 90 boss monster, and 43% uh, said they can do it on their own, uh, which it, it really does. It like there's no info on the boss, so like everyone just guessed on this. Uh, post because you would actually have to tell us what the boss can do like what the skills are how much endurance it has how much how much damage it can block does it instant hit you how much damage does the boss like there's so many factors about what the boss can do that would factor in make maybe the boss does one damage per hit and has one health and is just tagged as level 90 a level one character could defeat that but yeah so it's really just guessing but that you could presume that there'd be a level 90 boss monster as a final boss in the celestial realm arena uh judging on the time that elena posted this uh so yeah get ready for that uh some more celestial realm v3 uh objects that will be released uh really cool gold scythe and staff along with this set which is confirmed to be releasing in september uh, might not be for the celestial realm event but you'll be seeing this in the future really cool rune cloak there now, along this is for Celestial Realm V3 confirmed. Uh, the wings look badass, armor's badass. Got a new cloak, helmet, and a gold version of it as well. So, very nice there. Now, CC Burning Wings of Fallen. Uh, these are work in progress. And it says right here that they're for Celestial Realm V3. So, these are confirmed to be coming out. They look badass. And these are probably my favorite items that I've seen so far. That are coming out with the event tomorrow. Uh, now this is the monthly package for October. Uh, of course it is vampire themed as most of October will be. And there's female and male versions of it there. That is if you're buying $10 or 3 month membership plus. So that you'll get that for 
doing those things. And I think there's a purple or color custom version uh, for the higher tier package as well that I saw on his Twitter. Now, I have a little bit, I'm kind of speed running through these, like there's small little things. Uh, I have a little bit of speculation on this armor. Now, this could be the class design for the Vampire Lord class that's coming out later this month. Uh, now, hear me out. I, it's got a lot of, a lot of features that make it look kind of vampire-y, to me at least, and uh, it looks good. And this is a work in progress, a rough concept, so the coloring's not done, of course, or anything like that, so they could call it red, or a uh, vampire color. So, keep that in mind, I don't know, I'm just uh, purely speculating and guessing, but it looks really nice, and uh, we'll see something that looks similar to this in the future from Bido. Looks really nice there. Uh, now, I did do this in the last news video, but this is really badass. It's the calendar armor for AK3D or a concept of it. Uh, looks really nice, like a Chrono Thief uh, calendar armor for AK3D. And it's confirmed down below that it is going to be a similar art for AQ Worlds as well. I will. Uh, it will be close to the same art. So you can imagine something like that in Adventure Quest Worlds uh, coming with the calendar class this year and it is confirmed to be like a rogue type thief thing. I know I'm pretty sure I've done this in a previous news video, but I thought I'd end this one on a positive note, a new calendar class coming soon. So thank you guys for watching. What's your favorite uh, bit of news in this video? Mine is personally uh, the fact that we're getting a new Burning Blade to farm for. Last Burning Blade I really liked a lot, and V3 looks pretty promising, although I hope they don't make it too smash your keyboard, um, get a, a hand injury uh, farming, so hopefully it's not that bad to farm for, but uh, still a little bit of a challenge there. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Have a good week. We'll be streaming the new event tomorrow, Celestia Brown V3, along with the Upholder items and stuff like that on tomorrow's stream. Uh, we'll be checking out all the Star Swords, all 300 of them, and uh, we'll be trying to farm for Burning Blade tomorrow. We'll see how long that takes. And uh, also, uh, Kaiju Naval Commander is coming out tomorrow. They fixed it, so like you turn in your class, and then they give you a class that you can't sell along with the Kaiju Naval Commander in like a merge shop or like a quest turning thing. I don't know. But uh, Kaiju Naval Commander is coming out tomorrow. So I'll see you guys all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.